Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Karasetia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn that whenever a message or mail is opened by your customer, how you can send WhatsApp notification to your sales team. So the idea here is that you are running a campaign in Send in Blue through which you are sending the messages to your customers. Now you want that whenever the customer opens the message or the mail, automatically your sales team should get a WhatsApp notification that the message is read by the customer. For doing this, we need to create a connection between Send in Blue and WhatsApp so that whenever the message is read by the customer, automatically a WhatsApp notification is received to the sales team. So in this particular integration, we are using Send in Blue, which is an email marketing platform. So in place of Send in Blue, we can even use MailChimp, MailerLite, MailerCloud or any other email marketing platform and we can create an integration so that the sales team should get the WhatsApp message or the WhatsApp notification on their mobile number. So how we are going to create an integration between Send in Blue and WhatsApp? This will be learning in the further steps of the video. First, let us check this in the real time that how this complete process works automatically. So this is the contact list of my campaign. And this is the WhatsApp number of my sales team person. So now I want that whenever I send the mails to these particular customers and whenever they read the mails, automatically a notification should be sent on the WhatsApp number of my sales team person that the mail has been read by the customer. So this is the customer who has received a mail. Shopee Shop, uh, welcome our customers. So I'm just going to read this particular mail from here. I'm just going to open it. Okay, and let's check whether the sales team person has received any WhatsApp message or not. Okay, and here we can see a new message. Hi, your email for welcome in Shopee Shop campaign has been read by Parker Devin to 89 at gmail.com. Thank you. And here we can see that uh, this was the email address, Parker Devin, who was existing in the contact list over here. So now here you might be wondering that... The customer has read the mail over here and automatically the sales team has received a notification on their WhatsApp number. So how did I manage to do this? Let me tell you, this has become possible just because of the automation and the integration process. So in order to create an integration between Send in Blue and WhatsApp, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Send in Blue with WhatsApp automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first we have to create an integration between Send in Blue and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect is going to capture all the details of the customer who has read the message which was sent through Send in Blue. And using the details of the customer, automatically a notification will be sent to your sales team on their WhatsApp number that the message has been read. And in this way, we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between Send in Blue and WhatsApp using Pabli Connect. So let us learn the integration process now. For this, let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this sign up free button and you can get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as send in blue to WhatsApp integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens. Action means do this. So in this use case we want that whenever the message is opened by the customer which was sent through Send in Blue. 
So open this trigger window and let us select the application name as send in blue in the trigger. In the trigger event, we have to select message opened. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So let us read the instructions. Log in to your Send in Blue account. Once logged in to Send in Blue, navigate to the either the campaigns or contacts page. Once the either page navigates to the left sidebar settings, select the webhooks option and by clicking configure, click plus add a new webhook button. Okay, so I'll just take you to my Send in Blue account first. Here I am on the contacts section. Okay, and here we can find the settings option. So simply click on settings. And here we can find the webhooks option. Click on webhooks. Now here we can find plus button, add a new webhook. Click on this. Now here we have to paste the URL to post to. So this is the same webhook URL which we have seen in Pabli Connect. So we have to simply copy this webhook URL from here. We will go back to our Send in Blue account and we will paste the same webhook URL over here. Okay. Now we have to set the trigger when message is. So we want that whenever the message is opened, okay, then only uh, this trigger should run. Okay. So let us select it as open over here. Okay. And let's click on add. Okay. And here we can see that we have set the webhook over here. So let's move back to Pabli Connect. And now here we can see that it is waiting for the webhook response. So in order to capture the response, we have to send the mails. So I have already sent the mails to the contact list. So I'll just take you to the contact list. Okay, first I'll take you to the campaign so that it will be more clear to you. So here I have created a campaign name welcome in Shopee shop. If you want to create a new campaign by clicking on this create an email campaign option, you can create the campaign as per your requirement. So I'll just open this particular campaign and I'll show it to you how you can create a new campaign. Okay. Now here in the first step, you can set the name, then you can set the subject line, then you can set the sender name, then the email address of the sender, okay. Then we have this design section, here you can give the images or the description. Then we have the recipients option, okay, here we can find the design option, here you can set the design or the picture as per your requirement, okay. And here we have the recipient option, so you can select the list to whomever you want to send the emails, okay. Then we have the confirmation section, okay. So in this way, you can set up your campaign, okay. So I'll just uh, quit from here and I'll take you to the contact list first. And here, let us move to the list section. And I'll just open the list from here. And the list is Shopee customer. So we have three contacts in this particular list. Okay, we have Rayansh Sethia20 at gmail.com, Parker Devin289 at gmail.com and Ashirai over here. So I have already sent the emails. Okay, and here we can find the Parker Devin Gmail. So Parker has already received an email over here. Even Rayansh has also received an email over here on his email ID. Okay, so now we are going to just run this particular trigger. So this trigger will run whenever. Uh, the message is opened by the customer. So let us uh, open this particular uh, message over here. Okay. And in this way, I have created the campaign. Here we can find the Shopee shop. Here we can find the image. And here the details are some mentioned over here. Okay. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. Okay. And here we can see that as soon as we open the message, the response is captured over here. Here we can find the campaign name. Okay. Here we can find the date sent on which particular date this particular mail was sent. Here we can find the event as opened, the email address and all other details are captured over here. So now we want that a WhatsApp notification should be sent to our sales team. For that, come to this action window over here, open it and here in the choose application, let us find 360 dialog. In the action event, we have to select send template message. Click on connect, click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the API key and domain. So let us read the instructions. Enter API key here. You can create API key in your 360 dialog account. 
Log in to your 360 dialog account. Move to WhatsApp account page from the left sidebar and click on Generate API Key button. So I'll just take you to my 360 dialog account. So this is the dashboard of 360 dialog account. I have added the link of 360 dialog in the description box. By clicking on that link, you can reach to 360 dialog application and get 360 dialog service at a very affordable price than the actual price. Here we have to come to WhatsApp accounts. And here we can find generate API key option. So you have to simply click on generate API key. You have to generate the API key, copy that API key, go back to public connect and paste the API key over here. Now once the API key is generated, the same API key can be used for various different connections and workflows. We don't have to generate the API key again and again. Now the domain is required. Enter the domain here which you will get while generating the API key. An example is also given. So I'll just copy this example from here and I'll be pasting the same example over here. Now whenever our account is approved, we get this particular domain by default. In your case, if you get some other domain, please paste that domain over here. After pasting API key over here and domain, please click on save. Okay. As I already have a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection. Okay. And I'll just click on save. Okay. And now 360 dialog is connected to public connect. Now here we can see the template option. So template is simply a message that we want to send on the WhatsApp number. As we cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, first we need to create a template. We have to get it approved from Facebook and once the template is approved, then only the same template can be used for sending the messages on WhatsApp. That is the reason we have to select a specific template over here. So I'll just take you to my 360 dialog account. Here we can find manage templates option. Click on this. Now here you can see I have created several templates and got it approved. If you want to create a new template, come to this plus sign add template. Click on this. Now here you can give your template name. Here you can select the category as per your requirement. Various categories are available. Okay. Now here you can select language of your choice. Here you can select the template type. Okay. Here you can give the template body text. That is the message that you want to send on the WhatsApp number. Then click on preview and submit. Then this particular template will be going for the approval. And when this template is approved, you can use this template for sending the messages on WhatsApp. So I'll just close this particular template. And I'll open the one which I have already created and got it approved. That is mail open. Okay, so I'll just open this particular template. So here I have given a simple message. Hi, your email for the has been read by. Thank you. So here the body fields, you can find the first and second number in the curly braces. So these are the body fields and the values of these body fields are going to change as per the customer. Okay. So I'll, let us select this particular template that is mail open here in Pabli Connect. Now here we can see the namespace and the language code is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes over here. Now here we have to give the recipient mobile number. Who is going to receive the WhatsApp message? So here we have to map the WhatsApp number of the sales team person. Okay. And let us read the instructions also. Enter the recipient mobile number with country code example plus 91. As we are in India, we have to add plus 91. So you have to add your country code before the WhatsApp number. Okay. And remember here you have to give the WhatsApp number. Now here we have to map body field 1, example subject. So we have already got the subject that is the campaign name over here. So we have to map this particular campaign name over here. Let us map the campaign name in the subject from send in blue. And this was the campaign name. Welcome in Shopee shop. And let us add the campaign also. Okay. Now here body field 2, example Roger. So here we have to map the email address of the customer who has opened the mail. So let us map the email address of the customer. That was Parker Devin. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. So now let us check the WhatsApp number of the sales team person. Okay. And here we can see a new message. I'm just going to open it. 
Hi, your email for welcome in Shopee Shop campaign has been read by this particular email address. Thank you. Okay, so you can customize the message as per your requirement. I have just added a random message over here. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. So let's move back to Pavli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now we have to check this in the real time. For that, I'll just open the mail of the other customer. Okay, and this customer is Riyansh who has received this particular email. So let us open this particular mail also. Okay, and I'm just scrolling down. And now let us check the WhatsApp number. Here we can find a message. Hi, your email of, uh, sorry. Hi, your email for welcome in Shopee Shop campaign has been read by riyansetia 20 at gmail.com. Thank you. And in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. And as the customers will be reading the messages, the same way we will be re receiving the notifications on the WhatsApp number. Okay. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Send in Blue and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details of the customer who has read the message or who has opened the mail. And using the details of the customer, automatically we have sent the WhatsApp message to the sales team person that the message has been read by a per specific person or a specific customer. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Send in Blue and WhatsApp using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can connect us to this Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video and this video are helpful for you, then please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.